folks, we're back from Monster Marine. Today, we have a 2005 Moomba Outback. This boat is nice, it's clean. It's got a couple little scratches, a couple little things. It's not perfect, but it's a really nice boat. Price point oriented. You got factory tower with wakeboard racks on both sides, tower speakers. You got factory Moomba decals that are all beat up. There are a couple little things that scrape, it's nothing major, but they are there. Blue hull, blue sides, white hull, white cap. Interior's in good shape. No rips, tears, cuts, anything really to speak of. Um, swim platform, grab handle, tow hook. You also have a center ski pylon. You have your little wake plate, your rudder, and your prop. This is a local North Carolina boat. So that means fresh water, ladies and gentlemen. Same on the other side, sitting on a factory, Tandem axle boat bait trailer. It's a six log, so it's a heavier duty axle. Full weight tongue. Double pin. Tongue folds away. You gotta fit it in the garage, something like that. It makes it painless easy. What we're gonna do, we're gonna hop inside. We're gonna show you the stuff inside this boat. inside this 2005 Moomba Outback. Oh, it has a good layout. I mean, it is a direct drive. So you see engines in the center. You have a ski bag. Nice seating area right here. You can fit two people here. Driver's seat, flip up bolster. You got a reverse lounge here. Sit here and watch, or you can have a couple people sitting right here. You got sun pad right here. Storage underneath. On either side, they flip up. Point tower, two knobs, folds right forward real easy. We've got windshield. Your forward seating area. The seam is pulling right here. Um, isn't a big deal if you want that fixed. I got a guy that fixed it, it's about $100. Storage on the front, factory speakers, factory Kenwood radio. As I said, driver's seat has a flip up bolster. You have voltmeter, oil pressure, miles per hour, your RPM gauge, another miles per hour, which a perfect pass gauge could go here. You want a perfect pass. Uh, my cost on it's like 800 bucks. Don't charge anything to install it because it's plug and play, pretty painless. Temperature, fuel, radio controller, radio's in the glove box over there. We'll get to that in a second. You got your tilt steering, you go like that. If you're a little bigger, like Dan, you got that. Maybe down here, good, you're short like me. You know, you don't have a problem seeing over the windshield. Shifter, all your factory switches, nav light, anchor light, bilge, blower, stereo, accessory switches, digital depth gauge, boats rated for 10 people. You have your glove box right here, radio, boat keys, factory carpet, tower speakers, there's one little nick right here. Must have been from a wakeboard or something like that. Um, boat is nice though. If you have any questions, it runs good. We'll show you the engine. It's got an Inmar Assault 315. Freshly serviced, fresh impeller. If you have any questions, if you need anything, transport, export, anything like that, feel free to give us a call. We'll be more than happy to help you. It's a good price point boat, really nice. You'll have a great time with it, many seasons ahead, great entry level. If you have any questions, as I said, just give us a call. Good luck bidding, good luck buying.